Einstein's general theory of relativity changed the paradigm in physics. It modified forever the way we look at space and time. Instead of two radically different concepts, we now view them as one single entity, the space-time continuum. Einstein realized that this entity is malleable and can be deformed by matter. Gravity is no longer viewed as a physical force acting at a distance, but really as the curvature of space-time. This curvature changes the natural path that matter follows, causing what you call gravitation. You may ask what exactly causes this curvature? Einstein's answer is simple. Energy and momentum of all matter and radiation. Any type of energy and momentum would cause space to curve, even the very energy and momentum of gravity. However, finding how to calculate this gravitational energy has proven to be a hard task. In fact, gravity's energy momentum tensor wasn't yet found. This issue is of major importance when comparing gravity with other forces, which have a well-defined energy momentum tensor given by a canonical formalism. Einstein himself only derived the pseudo tensor that does not obey the principle of general covariance, giving weird values in many situations. Some physicists even say that the local gravitational energy momentum tensor simply doesn't exist. The difficulties in finding such a tensor suggest that gravitational energy may not be localized. In fact, it is possible to calculate gravity's global energy. ADM mass, Komar's mass and Bondi's mass give reasonable results in asymptotically flat spacetimes. Moreover, some attempts have been made to calculate this energy in a bounded region. These are called quasi-local approaches. Physicists such as Hawking, Garrock or Penrose have made such quasi-local energy definitions and found some good results too. As we live in a universe with a positive cosmological constant, it is important to generalize those global and quasi-local energy definitions for asymptotically de Sitter spacetimes and understand the differences to asymptotically flat spacetimes. This will be my thesis work here at Centra. Thank you.